Ah, welcome back to my channel guys, The Needy Homesteader, and what will be my last video for Jarred Up January for the year 2019. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video collab that I did with five other friends of mine uh, here on YouTube. Lisa from Sutton's Days, Paul from Paul's Rule of Thumb, Mandy from More to Life, Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen, and of course Angie from Angie's Pantry. Um, this was a brainchild of Lisa and I. We were to up late one night chit-chatting about, you know, something fun that we could do for you guys. Um, just to just to inspire you and bring you some different ideas, show you what we were jarring up um, for the month of January, which is probably my favorite time of the year to can uh, just because it's so cold outside and the air inside the house is always so dry and um, when I can I bring a lot of humidity into the air a lot of heat into my kitchen and um, and plus January is the longest month of the year and I swear it lasts forever and so um, this for us was something fun that we could do not only for ourselves but also to bring you guys and hopefully uh, made January the longest month of the year go a little bit faster for you guys um, in in the ways of watching something that you might enjoy so I'm really hoping that you enjoyed it um, let me know down below if there's if it's something that you maybe want to see next January I know many of you um, had commented that you wish that it could go on through February <laughs> unfortunately this was like um this took us about um, three four months in the works um to kind of get everybody's schedule on board uh to be able to do this for you um but it was well worth it and um and a labor of love so I really hope you enjoyed it. I have enjoyed doing it for you guys, and um, I wanna thank you so much for all of the love and the support and the kind comments and um, and all the sharing that you've done of these videos. <sighs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. So, tonight, it's Saturday night. I know, I think for you, I think my video is going up on Wednesday. Um, but it's Saturday night here. Uh, Matt is out with some friends, um, some co-workers, and um, I'm home alone with the Littles, and it is cold. We are actually bracing for a big winter storm uh, that's going to hit tomorrow night. We're expecting 9 to 12 inches. Um, and so it's kind of like a cozy, quiet Saturday night with me and the two young ones. And so as they're off playing Hot Wheels, I thought it's a perfect time to put something in a jar. So tonight I'm making for you some jam and this is a jam that I am going to be using for Valentine's Day to make a homemade jelly roll um, using this jam inside of it. It is going to be a pear raspberry jam. It is something um, that uh, I found in a very old book that my friend Paul gifted to me um, and it it is great for beginners because it requires no pectin. So we are gonna make a jam with no pectin. So anybody who has issues with pectin setting for them, this recipe should be for you. Now I've never made it before, so we're gonna kinda do it together and we'll see how it turns out. All right, I'm gonna take you over to the stove. I'm gonna show you what I've got going on and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to put all this together. So, all right, let's jar it up. Okay, so over here I have 10 pears and I'm gonna go ahead and peel these and kind of um, chop, chop them up, rough chop them. We're gonna be chopping them up in smaller pieces using our chopper. I also have a pint of red ripe strawberries. These are delicious. <laughs> I actually had to go buy three of these because um, Mason and Mina have gotten into them twice. So before they can get into this set, um, I'm going to go ahead and put them in my jam. I do have in hot uh, water, I have my lids and my rings set over there. I have my uh, jars in hot water. This is going to be coming to a boil and this will sit and boil while I make the jam on the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling these up, chopping them. I will show you what I what I do with them in my chopper, um, but I'm sure you could probably chop them up real small by hand too. Um, we're gonna be cooking this um, in the sugar and lemon juice for about 20 minutes before we add the raspberries. So, all right, let me get these peeled and I'll show you how I kind of put all okay, this together. So I thought quickly I would show you the book that I am getting this a recipe from. This is from Farm Journal's Freezing and Canning Cookbook. And you can find this recipe on page 283, and it is called a raspberry pear jam. And we're gonna tweak it a little bit. We're not using frozen uh, raspberries, but you definitely could. I'm using fresh. And also, I'm using bottled lemon juice instead of fresh. Um, and I will 
try to leave a link down below to this book on Amazon if I can find it because I know many of you will want the link. So um, that is where um, this recipe is coming from and what inspired me to give it a try. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with these pears. Now, I have them in a bowl uh, filled with ice cold water and about a half a cup of lemon juice. So it suggests that you go ahead and chop, chop these up in um, with a chopper. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to overfill this. But we're going to chop these babies up here in a chop. And I'm going to kind of, well, um, I don't want to make them too minced, but just to show you what I'm doing, of course, if you do it a different way um, and you end up making this and, and doing it a little different, let me know how it turns out for you down below. But that is what I'm going to do, almost like if I was rough chopping an onion, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this to my pot. I'm going to finish um, rough chopping the rest of these pears and then I'll bring you over to the stove and we'll get to the next step. All right, so there are my pears, 10 pears. What I'm going to also do right now is I'm going to be setting three uh, stainless steel spoons in my freezer and those will be ready to go when it comes time to check the set on our um, jam since we're not using pectin. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and to this we are adding five cups of sugar. I know that seems like a lot, but remember, you don't eat a whole jar of jam in one sitting. And then we're gonna be adding a quarter cup of bottled lemon juice. Now we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn this on Kind of like a low flame to be honest with you and then I'm um, honestly I'm gonna get my silicone whisk for right now and I am just going to get this cooking a little bit incorporate that sugar into the pear and we are going to be cooking this for about 20 minutes it says so when this gets going, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then we're gonna set our timer and we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes. Okay guys, so I've been cooking this up and you can see it's just now starting to come to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start my timer right now for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cook this for 20 minutes. And really what we're just doing is activating. <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm talking to Paula and Marco Polo who's uh, hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> Oh, via Marco Polo, I love that app. Um, so we are going to just kind of activate the natural pectin um, in this and um, kind of wake it up and make it happy. And we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes, just like this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stand right here, keep an eye on it and keep it moving. Um, and then when the 20 minutes is up, I will bring you back and uh, we'll add the raspberries. Okay, so we're about five minutes in and I'm just gonna put a little pat of butter not a tablespoon, about a half tablespoon. Um, and that's just gonna calm down some of the foam in this and make it a little less foamy. So if you notice that you have a lot of foam, you wanna reduce it a little bit, just add a little pat of butter and that'll help control some of that foam. So I wanted to let you guys know I added that. Um, and I'm just still here stirring, I got 15 minutes left. All right guys, so it has been 20 minutes and now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to add my raspberries. And then it says to go ahead and cook this until it's well blended and um, translucent. I think it, those were the words, let me see. Um, add raspberries and cook until thick and transparent. And I might actually now use, I've kind of been going back and forth between my uh, whisk and my spatula here. So I'm going to just keep on cooking this up and um, I'll bring you back when we get it to a thick and translucent consistency. Okay guys, so I have been cooking this for a little over 10 minutes. 
and I want to test it with a spoon. So here's my frozen spoon. I'm gonna dip it and I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna see how that sets up. And you can see it's still, it's still pretty thin to my liking. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna keep cooking this. And uh, we're getting there though, because I can I can feel it getting thicker. I can see that it's transparent. We just gotta keep cooking it down. So I will bring you back in probably another five, maybe five minutes, and uh, we'll give it another test. Okay, guys. So it's been another five minutes. I'm gonna grab another spoon out of my freezer. And we're gonna go ahead and give this another test. So we're gonna dip. And that is much thicker, much nicer. Ah, uh, I like that. I like that. All right, now, make sure you taste your jam. And this, honest to goodness, may be one of the best jams I've ever made. Oh. It's incredible. And it tastes like Valentine's Day. My Valentine's Day had a flavor, you guys. This jam would be it. So, I think I'm good. If you want it a little thicker, keep reducing it. Just keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. This is not something you want to leave. Um, you don't want to, you know, burn it or, you know, have it foam over and <laughs> make a mess. This is definitely something that you want to just constantly stir, constantly stir. But look at that. This is definitely thicker. It is also translucent. And I think we are ready to get these in jars. So I'm going to shut this off the heat. And then I am going to um, get you set up on the other side of my, um, of my kitchen. And we are going to put this beautiful jam into some jars. Guys, this, this jam is incredible. And the setup on this is beautiful. Oh, it's just, I think this might be the best jam I've ever made. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding. Okay, I'm gonna take this um, cloth from you. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to bring out um, one jar. I'm gonna do some pretty jars because um, I do want to give, um, a couple of these jars to, I've got a, now these are going to probably fog up real bad my, um, my jars because it is, oh, I think it's like negative 10 or, oh, I think it was negative 28 earlier when Lisa showed me. So, um, it's cold. It's really cold. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on like that. Um, and then we are going to scoop some in this jar and I hope you guys can see this. Let me get you moved over a little bit better. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And we're going to fill this to a quarter inch head space. All right, and I am going to, um, I'm going to get a clean, I always get out a clean plate that I can lay my things on. I'm going to go ahead and, it is a little chunky, so I'm going to debubble it, just in case. All right, and then take that off. And then we're going to clean the top. with vinegar and then we're going to grab a lid and a ring Woo! hot hot stuff hot stuff okay fingertip tight okay. we're gonna do one more together here 
absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. I can't wait till Mac gets home so you can you can take a look at these. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just give that a good stir and deep bubble just in case there's any bubbles in there. With that, we are going to go ahead and with the rim with vinegar and then grab a lid. Yeah. And grab a ring. My kids are so good. All right. And then hopefully, if I lift this up, you guys can see oh, what that jar looks like. Let's see if I can take you under the. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to hope that I can get six jelly jars which are half pints um it does say in the book that it does make um it does make three pints so fingers crossed as we keep going here so i wanted to bring you in as i'm drawing up this last one i did not get six half pints i was however make sure that's open for you I was however able to get one of these little four ounces um, so you know what I'm happy with that um, I might have you know rendered mine down a little bit more than maybe you're supposed to I don't know but I do like my jam like jam so um, I think I did it um, half of a half pint too much as far as like cooking it down, but that's okay because I like my jam a little on the thicker side. So I'm happy, I'm happy with this. So, I'm gonna stick that lid on there, stick a ring on there, and um, we will have a little, what I call a little smidgen, a little taster. And this is good for somebody who doesn't know if they like, you know, they'll like raspberry and they just want a little taste. So um, I usually give these little samples to uh, my husband to take to work. <laughs> and then he sets them out. Um, he sets them out on the um, work table uh, in the break room uh, for breakfast and people have them with their, um, their bagels and that kind of stuff in the morning so that's what I usually do with those little smidgens they're good tasters all right so I have my uh, five half pints and one little four ounces in there I'm gonna go ahead and set this on high now I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, lid back on here I'm gonna bring this to a full rolling boil now in the book it says to process for five minutes i process mine for 10 so that's what we're going to do um, we're going to process for 10 once i get this to a boil which shouldn't take too long so um once i notice it's a full hard boil i'll close the lid don't touch it again for 10 minutes um, and then uh, when 10 minutes is up i will take the lid off and let it just sit and rest for five minutes in my canner and then we're going to bring these beauties out and we're going to take a look and I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, what a beautiful, beautiful jam. All right, guys. Let's get these beauties out of the canner. You win a game. Now go, Look at that. Beautiful. I definitely need to make more of this. Um because I think these are going to go fast. <laughs> I know two are going for, well, three are going for a jelly roll um, for Valentine's Day. And one is going to my brother from another mother, <laughs> Paul from Paul's Rule of Thumb. And then I've got the little smidgen here. So look at that absolutely beautiful 
Oh, I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. Um, I want to make note that um, it was 20 minutes cooking the pears, the sugar, and the lemon juice. And then when I added the raspberries, um, I tested it after 10, 12 minutes, um, and it was still too thin. So I went ahead and stirred it at least another five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna say about 20 minutes for the pears and 20 minutes for the raspberries. 40 minutes total to get this rendered down to a thickness that I liked. So keep that in mind when you make this without pectin that you might have to, um, you know, like like Paul said, um, this isn't, um, these are, this is a fruit from our, our parents and our grandparents days. Um, so, uh, you know, and it's also really not the season, I think, early for pears or raspberries. But nonetheless, um, I did cook it for approximately uh, 15 to 20 minutes with the raspberries. So you kind of have to estimate, you know, 30 to 40 minutes to render this down to a thickness that you'll probably be happy with. So keep that in mind when you're making this. And um, in case as you're stirring it, you're like, mine's not thickening. <laughs> It will thicken, um, it just might take you a little longer. So, um, boy, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it for you. I really enjoyed doing Jar Jarred Up January um, with my uh, friends here on YouTube for you guys. I'm really hoping you enjoyed it as much as we did. And um, I really thank you uh, for participating and going around and showing so much love and support um, to not only to me but to all other of the other uh, five channels and uh, it's meant a lot to us so uh, thank you and I really hope this helped brighten up uh, your 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 long very cold <laughs> January at least if you're in the United States and Canada <laughs> so uh, with that I'm gonna wrap it up guys and um, I'm gonna wish you guys the best in the uh, I would love for you to stick around if you are not subscribed already to my channel. Um, and I will be seeing you guys very soon. All right. Take it easy, guys.